Okay, welcome everyone. Let's we'll start our first lesson. My name is Anjum Sathar and my email address anjum at ukversity.co.uk. Please, if you have any question, drop me email. Uh, end of the lesson, ask from me and I'll go through with you. So before starting our lesson, I'll quick, you know, go through what we're supposed to learn under this unit. Please, if you not get anything, ask from me, drop me email or text message, whatever way is convenient for you. So planning, controlling, and leading a project. So it's a level seven unit. We are doing diploma in project management, and we have five learning outcomes. So today lesson will cover our first learning outcome, which is about understanding the concept principle of project management in business. So today we have three assessment criteria explain the uh, first is examine the role of project management in achieving organ uh, business objective or organization objective so that's our first assessment criteria and what we're supposed to be learn all this is given in the inductive contents which we'll go through okay then second we have explained the application of key concept or the principle which we'll go through in different business environment so which will be focus our discussion and appraise so what is meant by appraisal and what is meant by project appraisal how we can appraise so appraise means check the performance of the project is the project what we supposed to be achieve we are achieving or not why a project so then we have other remaining four learning outcome which will go through some recommended books these are given some are already available on Moodle. Further, I'll upload a few more books, you know, you can read as well further to enhance your understanding. So let's we'll start. Any question? No. No, thank you. You're welcome. Please, if any question, carry on asking. OK. So LO1, we have three command verbs. Command verb is first is a examine. What is meant by is to look at, inspect, or uh, scrutinize carefully, or in detail, investigate closely. So if you're looking at the project, if you want to examine the project, you need to look around carefully, you need to investigate in detail, and you need to be monitored closely. It's meant by examine explain to give account of the purpose of the reason you need to give the reason why the project yes what really you want to be achieved in this project if it can be cost reduction project it can be improve the performance it can be uh, getting the information or launching a new product so these all can be our project and then we have a next our command work appraise so look back upon and appraise. So it's just about the reflection at the start, at the end. What really project impact, you know, like we, we call impact study if you're doing, you know, so we can reflect it, what we're supposed to achieve, or we can appraise. Any question? No, thank you. Okay. So first assessment criteria, which we need to learn about project, we need to learn about the project manager's role, we need to look around the management of change, what is meant by change management, and we need to look around the multiple projects in different environment, and uh, all this which we will we'll go through the project life cycle and product life cycle, what is the key difference between them. Okay, let's, you know, now rate yourself, how much you know about the project management? Have you learned before? So yes, I, um, I did my MBA last year, um, and I've also done the PG cert in Master of Project Management. So this is just carrying on from that. Okay, excellent, great. So, so maybe you can rate yourself, and at the end of you know this unit or end of this lesson, even you can reflect. Either we are moving forward, we are learning something new, or maybe we are enhancing our knowledge. So please, during our delivery, if you have any question, even you can type in the chat box as well, or either we we'll, can carry on a bit chat as well in between. Okay, let's, you know, we'll start. Welcome everyone. So first examine the role of project management. So what is meant by project? 
So project simple in words you can say is a task. Project can be task, project can be activity, project anything what really you want to be achieved. So project are a way of bringing about the chain. Project can bring the chain. They are used to develop new product or systems or alter the physical or social or cultural environment. That can be our project. The word project is actually derived from the Latin verb, which means to throw forward, yes? is a forward for the future. So a project is a leap into the future. So that's about future, what really we want to achieve. So International Standard of Organization, ISO, International Standard Organization, they said about the project, is a set of coordinated activities. Coordinate is as a team, coordination as a department, then we can achieve the project objective with specified start and finish. Yes, there should be a start and finish date. They have a specific goal and constraint. Constraint mean the limitation. We can't say we have a unlimited resources. Can we say unlimited resources? No, we have a limited resources, yes. But we have unlimited wants, yes. Unlimited desires, unlimited wants, or unlimited things are our wishes you know which we want to be achieved so the limited resources we need to deploy or we need to use in a way to achieve our objective of this project we need to prioritize the task okay so project is a sequence of connected events is the event so what are you supposed to do if you want to build a house what you do first so you need to buy a land yes you need to get the planning permission Yes, then you need infrastructure and all you know, the maps and things. So you need base and then some activities can be, we can do the parallelly as well. So which we can look around each, you know, the activities within that project. Target toward generating unique and well-defined outcome. So we want to be within a cost, within a time, within a quality. So if you want to measure the performance of anything, performance is always equal to time you achieve the things timely you stay within a cost and you stay within a quality yeah? so that's you know equal to the performance not just you reduce the cost is the performance you need well in time and you need a quality whatever the quality standard how many people need to be satisfied first of all so define the project management involve the range of management skills so what is the management anybody knows what is meant by management we learned management before no some people call management maybe these are all function of management planning Yes, controlling, organizing, and these are the function of management. But management is a process of designing an environment to achieve our organization objective. So we can't achieve our objective without management. So we need to design an environment to achieve pre-selected objective. Whatever objective we have selected, we need to design an environment. So in management, we say two plus two. In math, two plus two equal to four. But in management, we'll say two plus two equal to five, not four. So if you work as a team, you can make things better. We just use less resources, give more output. So thinking ahead is we need in a management. Carrying out research, planning what is happening where and when. Manage your people, your staff and resources. Monitor your project, control, monitoring. Changing the plan. If this is a coronavirus, we can't deliver or achieve our project on the deadline, what contingency plan can be in place. So we need to think about <clears throat> communicating with the people. That's what we need to. Any questions? No. Any questions? Okay. Role of project manager. If you're a project manager, what's your role? There is a how to project manager describe their role. 
you are the driving force behind the project it becomes the most important it's become the most important things yes so we need to transmit your energy and commitment to your team as a project manager like nhs a project manager need to be sufficient technical knowledge if you don't have a knowledge how you can manage it understand the implications of every part of the project ability to coordinate different elements yes we need ability if we don't have ability we can't manage project is like keeping the 10 balls yes in the air at once while walking uh, so if you on the tight rope are uh, you just walking on the and you need to think about you just you know flicking the ball you need uh, it's a question of keeping one eye on the big and other day to day details you look what they want to you need to look around what you supposed to be you need to look around the and task as well all we need to manage any question no no question okay next now we need to look around the four key aspect as a project manager if you are a project manager what you need to you need good in planning organizing coordinating then you should be good in monitoring and control people you can understand the cultural different dimension of the people sentiments of the people and leading you have a leading skill leading mean the leadership skill so if you don't have leading skills so it's very difficult to fulfill you have to be maybe adjusted yes communicate you we need good communication skill as well every project is a unique with its own objective in term of the time scale in term of the budget every project need its own plan as the project manager to work what resources you need you are going to be necessary outcome you have to be organized think so the right people are available to the right task at the right time with the right skills your role is a coordinator is a crucial you probably the one person who knows everything is going on and significance of separate elements monitoring as a project manager you need to monitor three things cost schedule is a time and the quality of the project you won't be an expert in the process involved in your project but you must know enough to recognize the things are going wrong monitoring coordinating mean knowing when you need to be step in take corrective action Co control is mean corrective action you plan very well oh i will with respect i will quit the smoking this year it's always you know smoker sometime at the start of the new year they have a wish to quit but after a few days maybe they smoke less but after then they pick again so we need to think about yes we need to reflect hey, why i want to achieve it yes so is a corrective action we need to carry on any question there no okay leading as we said leader involved bringing people together if you are a project manager you need to be learn you keep the people together because team team building have we heard about henry ford do we know yeah. okay good so henry ford is the owner of ford motors he said about team coming together is a beginning keeping together is a progress and working together is a success so if we want to be success we need to be good leader we need a leading skills yes so we manage the team effectively focusing their efforts on the particular goal in order to do this you need to inspire what we need to do inspire motivate your team we should have a leadership quality there are the many style of leadership we can you have authoritarian you may be too much democratic but you need to look around in different cultures different style it's not mean the style we are using here it will be acceptable in the same same leadership style in every part of the world may 
you can be situational leader yes and your when the situation change your style can be changed so project management required certain flexibility of, of approach depending on the people you are leading and the situation so think about the situation now as a corona virus yes so if you are a construction manager and you have to deliver as well but now you can't work as very closely we need to keep in the social distance what we can do maybe we not used to offer the pick and drop service maybe we can use it pick and drop service instead of using the public transport so that will help maybe we'll keep the social distance as well yes and we'll carry on our role we need to really we need to communicate people what is the reality what is happening as a project manager as a leader so in any study nowadays in academia we not need to be tell you about the stories or tell you or teach you about different theories we need to develop the leadership skills so is a new stage of teaching is all about the focus you will make the future leader not just you know pages we have many manager those manage day to day we have a computer system it system can manage the activities but we need the leaders who lead it influence others any question there no. okay next now project management environment what is meant by so is the wider environment the effect the happening during the project life cycle so project life cycle will look different stages of the project we need to look around the stakeholder do we know what is meant by stakeholders no okay stakeholders mean anybody who has any interest in the business is a stakeholder like you are the stakeholder in the uk university yes because you have an interest in it yes because yes. you're a student you want to achieve your qualification we want to be deliver it we have so you're the stakeholders i'm a stakeholders as well stakeholders mean anybody who have any interest in the business will be the stakeholders are uh, their interests will be influenced by the action of the company or uh, any decision whatever you can will still will make that your interest can be influenced so we can't call stakeholders do we know the shareholders no shareholders mean investor investor in business if you investing money in a business you are the shareholder shareholder also known as a stakeholder but all shareholder all the stakeholder not shareholders employees can be stakeholders supplier can be stakeholder investor can be stakeholders but employees can't be shareholders yes yeah? yeah so that's that's meant by it. so it can be internal within a company like employees like a director these are internal stakeholders then external is mean outside people in the organization trustee user local public tax office these are all external stakeholders and we have to meet your their expectation <clears throat> okay uh, are you both working in any organization yes i work for bp or oh, you work for bp british petroleum yes yeah? yeah, the project uh, lead project engineer okay brilliant so is you are the stakeholders as well yes because you are employees yes so what what's your interest as a employees what you want bp will deliver you they pay you good salary salary yes. and good 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 work work environment good um, working condition yes yeah health and safety um community. health and safety and um progression career progression or and um, skills brilliant upskilling yes so we can say upskilling eh? so your skill yes. need to be improved that you know can be so we need to look around these the really your but other my friend if he is a shareholder what he want he want more return on investment yes 
profit and increase in shares. Um, yes. More dividend. Yes. Um, shares. Company development. Shares value. Yes. Development. All this one. But if we will pay more dividend to the shareholders, but maybe we will pay less salary to the employees. Yes, so we need to be because if all salary will pay all profit towards salaries, maybe it's a less money available for the shareholders. We need to be balanced. Yes, so we need to meet the expectation of both share uh, stakeholders and the shareholders. Yes, we need to be balanced. If you're a project manager, you need to be look around very closely. You have to monitor it and you have to balance the expectation. You need to be who is the most influence, who is the less influence. Okay, next now we're looking at the environment. Couple of you maybe learn about pestle or pest factors in business or management. Yes, it's called environmental factor. So here we're looking at the political environment. So always when we have a project, always look around political. So think about in country we are in, what is the political stability? Think about the tax policy at the government. Think about the forthcoming legislation. Think about the employment law. Think about the dominant ideology. Think about the labor and uh, conservative parties. Both have a different manifesto and different ideology. Economics. So think about inflation. Uh, and think about how much is the inflation in UK. Any idea? Inflation. Inflation is mean how much price is increasing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I I think all point something. Uh, now is around one percent. Yes. Oh. So it's really low now. Exchange rate. Yes, is is really now pound is becoming slightly weaker. Maybe in future inflation will be high. Economics growth is one percent now. Tax we have around tax is at twenty percent. Unemployment rate. It used to be 4.5 percent. People used to be unemployed, but maybe now people will be more unemployed due to the, this coronavirus. Mm. So we can look around these all factors. Do we know per capita income? How much is a per capita income? The screen is stopped now. Did you stop the screen? Uh, just one second why it stopped. Okay, now can you see now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, now what do you think per capita income? How much in the UK average person is that? What is the per person income? Per capita mean per person? Do you mean per month? What do you mean? pounds per person per year? 34,000 is around $47,000 per person because we compare with other countries, yes, in dollars. Mm -hmm. Okay. So maybe is we the, can. Is, is, this, is this average or? This is the average. So we'll say total national income, yes. Total national income divided by total population. It's not yeah. mean everyone is earning same, yes? Yeah, some I, I people may be millionaires, some people may be, yes? Yeah. So that's meant by. Okay, now if we look next factor, social factor. Okay, before that, do we know the base rate? Basic interest rate is in the UK, basic interest rate. Which is called base rate, which is set by the Central Bank of Central Bank of England. Yes. Can I say how much? Okay, how much is it? Any anybody any thought? Base rate now we have. Really low now from last week is 0.01%, which is nothing. In the past, this was 0.75%. But 
but now it's dropped down to 0 0.01 because to make the loans cheaper and boost the business yes and people are struggling then we look the social factors that's also impact then we also look the technological factor what is happening in technology so all we need to look around education technology 4g different technology any question there no okay then we look the next is our area of discussion in the project life cycle every project have a project startup then planning and organization stage of the project then implementation and monitoring stage and then we complete the project any project we always you know at the start different cast at the different level so then uh, if we, so, sorry excuse me sorry can you just uh, maximize the size of the yeah can you see now yeah please yeah okay brilliant so project startup yeah then yeah. planning and organizing stage then implementation and then complete your project yes yeah, any project will start so these are the stages of the project yes but maybe you learn about the product life cycle project and the product can be different so uh, development growth any product we launch it can be development stage growth stage maturity and decline so like think about the phone anybody has a nokia mobile now no why not it's close maybe 15 years ago <laughs> 15 years Because ago there, there, are, there are many uh, much better products than uh, nokia nowadays okay mm. why but nokia used to be leader in the world why yeah. they why they reach at this stage why they here now finishing stage because they did not develop the product why they did not with they, they used to be leader in the world yeah and, and it, is, it is still still can use like smartphone smart technique with them but i don't know why they just drop down okay the reason is the ceo of the company he cut the cost on the research and development he closed many research and development center in the world he was thinking this is a waste of resource why we give the training to people why we will develop the research and development yes this is a waste of resource if you don't spend the money on the research and web skilling so you're not going to make the new yes yeah so project is a finish but the product is not being produced yes yeah so I see me yeah is line stage okay can you just please uh, just uh, explain the, the 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 highest level here in the curve more no 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 the previous one yeah more maturity 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 yes. maturity mean with the highest phase of the things yes so if we look there you know in the past maturity maybe in 90 or 2000 2005 nokia was the maturity stage yes yeah but after 2005 or 6 is a decline stage yes mm. they not bring the new mobile in yes so when the product decrease is a project start you need to bring the new product yes okay that means, you need that means the stairs now the stairs okay each product has a specific uh, area of this curve right a project like pro project when you finish the project it become a product okay any any product has a specific place in this curve right yes any product have a stages so as a your as a project manager you need to carry on chaining them if you not bring the new features and benefit in it people will yes think about people used to buy in shops if you don't sell online now what will be happen there not not any any uh, yes, so, so we we need, we need to bring the new techniques in yes yes like like think about now uh shell fuel station they have started the apps yes to get mm. the points 
but bp is in a process as well so if yes. they don't do it it's a decline stage yes yes so we when we reach the decline we'll bring something new so we we'll mm. go maybe in okay. this country the decline stage but in other country the introductory or growth stage so that oh, yeah. become outdated in this country may be very new in other market yes mm, yeah. okay then if we look the project life cycle when the project life cycle finish it start the product life cycle they have a relationship yes so manufacturing is a task yes you finish it does your project when you launch a pro product in the market does your product life cycle start then the yes. market will drop any question there no okay no, next no, we looking okay now next we looking now explain the implication and the principle of management and different business environment which will go through so next we looking a work breakdown structure anybody learn before work breakdown structure is approach in project management no okay this is the easiest play, place to start the project planning it is in a list of all the activities that which we required in the project in hand we need to enhancement explain how the project is broken down into the tasks like you want to build a house house build project acquire project find a plot uh, for the sales study the location yes where you want to negotiations legal and closing preparation appointment with the architect job the plan planning application appoint contract and start building a house this can be a process until start that can be a one project yes these yes. are the form of part of acquire the plot as a group these can be all the activities any question no okay next we looking pbs is called pro product breakdown structure if you have a product we can how we can break down into small tasks so that break down structure break the product down into the component into the points yes so maybe if you think a car if we want to manufacture a car we not making every part yes we can break down where we'll get the tire where we'll get yes body where will be engine yes what will we can assemble it so we that product we can drop into small parts yes are we called sub product for example we were to examine the uk university classroom based tuition courses this would be the product yes sub product for this can be exam text class note delivery room classroom delivery assessment exam kit and mock exam so that can be our one pro one product is a class based delivery and we can make to the small component what overall this product consists of and this shows the order of sub product must be provided for example it will be important to have the class notes before the class delivery and take place likewise it will be important for the student to attend some class room deliveries before they can attempt to the assessment so exactly the same we are delivering online i need to be prepare my slides i need to prepare the notes i supposed to be upload all the product we are delivering we can into the small different steps in it that become a product breakdown any question no okay then we have approach is called obs organization breakdown so if you think in our organization how many department we have in our organization do we have a finance department we have a production department we have a hr department so we can divide organization structure into different layers yes 
we can be a project director we can be a project manager we can be a product supervisor yes then the customer these are all and they represent the organization culture so if we have we need to keep it otherwise we're not going to achieve our organization objective any question here no okay then identify identify the responsibilities so this in the organization breakdown structure we need to identify the responsibility who because you all working in our organization you know what is meant by responsibility what your role and what you supposed to do what things you are responsible if you don't fulfill the responsibility you will be accountable for it yes you will be asked you know that's why we getting the salary for it we been given the responsibility the source based breakdown the resources which we can break down into a resource breakdown is a list of all monetary funds a physical equipment manpower that will be needs to complete the project traditional way to approach this is the part of obs organization breakdown structure we need to look around how much we required the manpower so any organization we need three things yes if you want sorry i'm just writing 3 m's anybody knows what 3 m stand for no manpower you we need human being yes if you if you want any business to start you need employees yes you need money and you need material material can be any asset yes so every business required 3 m man money and material and we need to use it effectively to achieve our organization objective so these three resources is very important in our organization okay any question up to now no. okay okay next we looking next we looking sow is called statement of work statement of work is a document that captures and define all the aspect of your project you will know the activity deliveries and the time table when we deliver it this is can be introductions what is my project what is my purpose what this bring where we will do what task and when when are the milestone when we will complete this this stage that stage and other stage like we making a road yes and the road is m1 motorway where we can up to we'll look around these are the milestone we'll complete in 6 month we'll complete in 6 month in 3 years where we up to all we need deliveries we need schedule we need a standard and testing who will be yes testing mean audit success uh, yes what will be the success criteria requirement what will be the payment method will we use so all this we need to be any question there then we close it so these can be work statement and can be many stages as a project managers we should be well aware of anybody any question here no okay so always every project where milestone mean the key date are the key part for the success of the project huh? okay then next we have 1.3 is a last our assessment criteria where we need to look around appraise the business objective we can look around different project and we can look around different objective and we have a different technique for to achieve the objective so first network diagram anybody ever study network diagram maybe in computer in various other subject as well or maybe you learn about pert have we have we, we learn pert is called program project evaluation and review technique so is the planning method and that use network diagram the project manager commonly use the term per program evaluation review technique the chart and the network diagram interchangeably the network 
is contain the same task dependent information. Have you ever prepared the GAN chart for your dissertation? No. If, if you prepare, you know, like your master course or various other your degree, you prepare your dissertation or you submit the research thesis. And we prepare, I have a supervisor meeting, I'll do research. Yes, my brother? Yes. So uh, if you already GAN chart, yes? So GAN chart yeah, so is... Microsoft uh, Office to uh, Microsoft Project is to very good. Charts. We also use uh, one with a man and for BP called Primal Era, and they do a very detailed level uh, Gantt chart as well, which is quite good. Excellent, great. So within the Microsoft, we can make the Gantt chart. is given by the Henry Gantt. His name was a Henry Gantt. He gave the this chart is very popular in even construction side. If you go any manager's office, they have a chart on the on the whiteboard. They wrote what they're supposed to do, when they're supposed to do, how they're supposed to do, what required, yes, how many are required. All this, of course, nowadays we're using the software to prepare it. Okay, then critical path analysis. Have you ever heard about or learned critical? What is a critical? You make a building. What is the critical path? Is your base, yes, if your base of the building or the property is not proper, how the building will be stand? Yes, it will fall down. Many bridges collapse is due to the the critical path analysis not properly being done. So the material, the quality of the material is very important. Yes, the use, the labor or the techniques are the very important. The surveyor, yes, who made the plan is very important. Look short, long, short, medium, and the long term, What, what, whatever the project we have. So we need to look around. Different tasks in the project in the logical order. Expect the duration of the each task. The start date of the project. Software program can create, which will go through. I'll show you how we can use the MS project as well. You already using a couple of you, you know, better than maybe me, but I'm just, you know, using often. Okay, this is the network diagram. Let's say you want to be cook a meal, yes? So this is the network diagram. You start cook meal, yes? So you need, you start it, you need 30 minutes to cook. Set the table, yes? So if you're cooking a meal, you can set the table as well side by side. Yes. And after yeah. cooking, because these two, some activities you can do the parallel, yes. And then eat the meal. So 30 minutes, you're not adding the 10 minutes you require to set the table. Because when you cook it, you're setting the table as well, yes. So that time I'm not including it. So my cook meal and eat meal. So 30 minutes to required cook, 15 minutes to required to eat. So that's my 45 minutes, yes? Mm. And of course, when you finish it, is finish it, yes? You organize the thing. So in 45 minutes, we can complete this all project. Let's say you want to be paint your room of the house. So you need to be look around, that's your project, yes? So you need to think about, you take out the stuff, you need to look around how you do. Yes, you need a good planning for this. This is your project. How long will it take you? Maybe some parallel activity you can do. Maybe you can do the, some filling that will dry and you can do other walls. Yes, parallelly you can look around. Any question here? No. Okay, next. Uh, poet is also we it's a network and the program evaluation technique we can measure it we can look around the resources for the project what required we can do the costing for the project do we know the what is meant by fixed cost fixed, fixed cost yes rent is a fixed cost it stays the same every month for 12 months at least Yes? Yeah. Either you live in a house, you're not living, you went back to your country even during still you're paying the rent. Yes? That's your fixed cost. 
then variable cost variable cost is energy bill yes if you not if you use electric you pay the bills yes if you use yes. more units you pay more bill if you use less you pay less so that's your variable cost then we have a semi variable do we know what is meant by semi variable no okay so semi variable cost we have think about your your home landline phone yeah yeah so what are you paying in landline phone you paying fixed charge yes plus normally you paying if you don't have a package plus your call charges yes so this is your fix this is a fixed charge which is your line rental plus you paying the call charge that we call you make that's your call semi variable there is a fixed element there is a el variable element in the cost so that's called semi variable any any question no okay next now how the cost we need to identify the main cost objective of course are anybody ever use the royal air yes very bad <laughs> one one of the worst airlines <laughs> okay uh why because the service is really bad okay so we can say quality is the issue there yes yes what about the cost cost it seems cheap but uh in the end, in the end of the road you will pay a lot of money yes so they have a strategy they focus more on the cost yes yes you need to look around the time cost and quality so if you make a decision you go the cheaper flight yes maybe you reduce the cost but maybe you not get the quality same yes maybe time wise is the same cost is a low but the quality is a poor yes yeah or maybe in a way you need a water bottle you need to pay for it yes you have a weight yes, yes. luggage you have to pay for it separate mm. food And if your flights cancel you have to pay for it or your money will be wasted so all yes. this we need to look around in the same yes. in the project we need to look around as well identify yes. all the activity associated the cost yeah so every activity is involved <coughs> you need to be focused each activity you need to look around the assign the cost like advertising printing running even we people waiting worker waiting is a costing us analyze the cost report in the project you need to analyze the cost report which month how much budget was how much cost us yeah okay i copied the one link for you if you want to watch a video about critical path analysis which is quite good to watch so that will help you for the enhanced concept i managed to upload some case studies yes which will help you one is will be on moodle as well one of the gen yes is a nhs project this is one of the project if uh, you may be you all i think so we all know santander bank yes yeah do we know the santander bank they start one two three account yeah yes anybody has a one two three accounts no okay yeah. yes. one two three account so that's you know which we can so please is quite good to read these two case studies and huh? those will help you to further enhance your understanding okay i copied the link to do the quiz yes so we can if you what you need to do copy this link and then you can do this quiz is called critical path analysis huh? so what are the critical things so let's will go through the one what is lft late to finish start yes what what do you think okay what i'll do please you can pick, you can pick you know, let's say assume i'm picking this up huh? 
yes so yes. this was back forward from the right yes so there are the many stages the network critical what are the critical things within a network diagram so like you know we discuss about uh, you know we discuss about cooking meals yes so table is not a critical yes but other is a critical things yes cooking is a critical thing so that time you know you need to so you need to manage those so which we can go through so please this i'm not doing quiz with you but you can copy this link and play with it yes that will help you and watch the watch first watch the video i'm giving you as a some work yes watch this and then you do the quiz please which will help you and uh, all links there if you need to any question no okay today lesson we learn about uh project and what are the key concept within a project so we need to be go through those product life cycle project life cycle what is the project management project management we discuss about network diagram cpa critical path analysis network diagram uh, organization breakdown structure and a statement of work yes so please oh. all about that those were the key areas in our lo1 and if you have any question drop me email hope so i'll speak you all by yes on friday we have a lesson other yes at what time yes. friday mm okay i'll let you know in a minute so thanks for attending today if you're just listening this recording please drop me email on my email address and hope so i will speak you all by next lesson mm, give me one minute